in the D is all about the Q. The grand opening for the Q line in Detroit, drawing crowds for a celebration that's going to roll into the weekend. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on the Q line right now. Kim, what's your advice for first time riders? Hold on. It goes right along the rails on Woodward, so it stops and goes with traffic. But as long as you're holding on, it's a smooth ride, and everyone riding today is so excited. I have seen smiles and long lines all day. I even got the chance to go on the queue line as it opened to the public. The very first riders who lined up early, and their stories are inspiring. They're so optimistic about Detroit and love being part of history. It is the streetcar system some said would never happen. Dignitaries disembarked this morning, then Pat Baldwin, who works with seniors downtown who will benefit from the queue line, cut the ribbon, officially opening the queue line to the public. This is the beginning of something wonderful. This is the first step of a journey, you know, a very important step. I'm just thankful to be here, to be the first person to get on the queue line. Tanya Marshall arrived hours early to become the very first member of the public to get on the train. She has disabilities, lives nearby, doesn't drive, and says the queue line means opportunity for her as well as the entire city. It means a lot for the city of Detroit. I hope to see it expand real soon. The people who made the queue line possible say they don't yet have a blueprint, but know they want to extend the rails beyond their current 3.3 mile stretch from Grand Boulevard to Congress. People on the very first ride with Tanya say this ride gives them hope. Detroit is on track for success. As soon as we found out that this is going on, we just really wanted to be down here again to see this, you know, all the smiling faces. I've worked downtown for the last eight years, and really it's difficult, even though it's only a couple miles away to get to Midtown, it's going to be a way to connect Midtown and downtown. Just love it. I'm glad to see the comeback of Detroit. This is the happening city. Our city is happening. So everybody get on board, get on the queue line, because we're ready to take off. Now, if you want to go for a ride, all of these people took advantage of it. You can go for free between now and next Sunday. Experience it. It kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. I'm looking at this cute baby over here. Look at that baby. And I'm looking at Noah. He is just like me. My dad took me on the People Mover just for a ride. We weren't going anywhere. We just wanted to experience it. And he's out here with his family making memories on the queue line. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Hey Kim, quick question for you. Uh, will you need coins or, or tokens or a card? How are you going to ride that thing? Now again, between now and next Sunday, not this Sunday, next Sunday it's free, but after that it's going to be $1.50 for three hours, $3 for the day. You can pay with cash right on the train or else you can do so online. It's all very easy. Back all right. To you. Kim Russell, live on the queue. Thank you so much. You know, not everybody's celebrating the grand